The men of Dale and dwarves of Erebor are beaten, their settlements occupied and their people slaughtered or displaced. Smaug's vengeance is complete, the dragon's grudge fulfilled. West of our newly acquired regions lie the treacherous forests of Mirkwood, the southern lands firmly in the hands of Sauron and the orcs of Dol Guldur, while the northern lands belong to the wooden realm of the elven king Thranduil. We have no qualms with Thranduil nor his kin. Despite some minor skirmishes at the edge of Mirkwood, we have no desire to claim this cursed forest and the evil that lurks within. In fact, Thranduil serves as a perfect distraction to keep the eye of Sauron away from Mistrant and our own machinations. So we offer the Elven King a choice. Stay in your forest and leave the borderlands to the Empire of Rune. Pick up neither bow nor axe against our legions, and you and your kin shall be spared. Refuse, and be annihilated. As the dwarves reduce to ash in their stone holdings and mountain keeps, just imagine what our pyromancy can do to a realm that is quite a bit more flammable. Greetings my friends and welcome back for episode 18 of our Empire of Rune campaign in 3rd Age Total War Divide and Conquer AGO. Now before we start I do want to apologize if I sound a little bit sick, that's because I am. You probably won't really notice much but my voice might be a little bit... hoarse? <laughs> uh, so without further ado and all lame jokes aside, let's jump into this battle, the battle for Burgram which is the penultimate settlement of Dale. They hold Burgram and then they hold Grassgard over here. And once we take those two settlements, which we should be able to do within the same turn, then this Doomstack will be completely pointless and the faction of Dale will be completely eradicated. All right, let's do this. Let's jump in. We shall all, find a way to an honorable victory. all right, here we are. I do have myself a nice cup of tea. So if you watch my videos, you do know that, you know, a cup of tea is the best medicine for literally any ailment, so I should be able to record this without any issues. Alright, we got one archer of each type, which I quite like. Um, what else we got? We got a nice amount of spears. No, I don't want to put the spears in the middle, I want to put my line of runic fang legion in the middle. Look at these boys. I'm never going to get tired of them. Uh, let's put our spears on the flanks in case any calf does anything special. And let's join them with some Loklarim. Actually, I'll put the Loklarim in the center. Uh, Loklarim, you're going to go on the side. And then the Faru Mercenaries. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is also the first time we're, uni we're using... Not uning, using the Runic Dragon Riders. Which, yeah, they do look pretty cool. Not going to deny that. The stats are a little bit lackluster, but who knows. They might surprise me still. We also, of course, have, uh, let's see, Mr. Karan himself and his dragon warriors. So let's make sure you're already on fire mode. I think that's everyone in position, then. I'm actually going to go for a bit of a defensive position, I think. I just need to make sure we hit 85% of uh, both armies. Ah, oh, they have a ballista of their own. I haven't really taken a look at their units. I probably should have. Yeah, they got some half guard. Which is a little bit scary. But we have the Loknarim, who have armor piercing, so... Yeah, all that fancy armor aside, it won't do you a whole lot of good. And there's only, only 42, so it's not too bad. There we go. Burn them to a crisp. Hope you guys aren't too emotionally attached to deal. I'm going to miss them. I'm not going to deny that. I will miss these fuckers. It's been fun playing against them, but... Uh, well, that time has very much come. Right, they got deal cavalry. And my cavalry, if I'm not mistaken, is... It counters other cav, right? It's killed against mountains, so... We should see some good results against that Dale, Dale Cav. I have a hard time speaking today. I'm not sure why that is. It seems my English gets worse every time I do a recording. <laughs> Which is quite the contrary of what I expect. All right, just don't kill Karon, okay? That guy's been through a lot already. Alright. Dragon Riders. Show me what you got. Okay. Little pathetic charge. Well, let's see. 47 deal calf, 63 of these guys. 62, 61, 59. They're dropping quite fast. <laughs> Can't say I like that. Alright, pull back. Don't let the deal swordsman fuck us over. Pull back. Yeah, it seems these guys do rely mostly on the, the charge. So, Like, how much attack does a deal calf have? 6, 6, 7, 14. 
5, 4, 10, 14, so yeah. They just rely a whole lot more on the charge. Alright. Send forth the lads! Go, go, go! Leave none alive! Now, with regards to the Elves of the Woodland Drum, I have mentioned I'm not too keen on just fighting them till the death. So I think what we might do is uh, take Thranduil's Halls and then either try to get a peace treaty or maybe... Oh, what the fuck's going on? What the hell? This unit's completely split up. It's absolutely causing havoc. Yeah, that unit kind of sucks. Uh, so I'll take um, Thranduil's Halls and then possibly try to get a peace alliance. Or a peace agreement, I should say. Um, or maybe just exterminate them very quickly. I'm not really interested in like very prolonged combat, if that makes sense. You better beat them, you know. But we'll see, we'll, we'll see when we get there. Now, some people have also made some comments about me having to go to Moria for some reason. I'm not sure where these people get the idea from that Rune has to expand all the way to Moria. I'm not very interested in that, no. I think the, the rest of the campaign is pretty clear-cut right now. Uh, and there are three factions that I want to battle against and, well, destroy or incorporate in my realm. Uh, and those are quite obviously Gondor and Mordor, as well as Khand. Once those three factions are out of the game, the campaign is over. And I don't want the campaign to last incredibly long. It will be long enough with those goals in mind. Yeah, they're doing quite a bit better now. Okay, okay. You haven't won me over completely, but you're doing better. And I think those are some cool goals, and they'll last us for a couple more episodes at the very, very, very least. I've also gotten a suggestion by my fellow YouTuber Frozen Stag. Check him out on YouTube, he makes some amazing content. Uh, about our Lokan, Mr. Rukar, who has been chilling in Mistrand for the better part of this campaign. He got a little bit active in the beginning of the campaign, but then we've just kind of kept him there. And seeing as my economy is as strong as it currently is, it's no longer needed for him to be chilling there just for the, the tax rebate. Uh, but yes, he will be leading an army at some point. And the way I see it right now, he will be given one of the biggest and strongest armies we've ever had. Uh, which will be the one to march against Mordor and Gondor. That will be Rukar's battlefield. So don't worry, Rukar will still serve a purpose and he'll serve it amazingly. Okay, It's just the captain anyway. Are there any other recommendations and suggestions I should talk about? Uh, I'm just thinking here... Don't think so, no. I mean, naming suggestions, yes, I've written those down. I got my my little piece of paper here with all the naming suggestions. So I'm also going to rename Eskadoth after this battle. Alright, fuck you, Ballista. See, that was a really good charge, actually. Numbers are dropping very fast. So I don't, I, I don't know what to think about the Dragon Riders just yet. Uh, there are also, of course, a couple of units still that we haven't trained yet. Uh, and it is very much my intention to have every unit at some point at the end of the campaign. You're going to be able to see every unit that the Empire of Rune submod has to offer. But if you're not convinced yet at this point to download the Rune submod, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. Everything we've done so far is just, in my mind, a lot more awesome and a lot more interesting than vanilla Rune. How are we looking in terms of numbers? 49%. I need 85% of both armies. And this is a tiny army. So that leads me to believe we haven't really hit 85% on the other army. Which would be quite correct. Alright. Uh, let's move forth the archers. Don't stop fire. Oh, you're out of ammo. Just to get ready for the uh, second force. Swordsman! Uh, bring forth the infantry. Come on. Cut on. You're in as well. Though I want cut on to last until the end of the campaign. I'm honestly surprised I haven't gotten cannon killed yet. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you here. Those guys with fire bombs, I don't know, man. Especially with having cast chosen in your armies, it's quite easy to friendly fire a general out of nowhere. But I think there's three units I'm currently missing that I haven't showcased yet. One is the Mumu Kill, of course, which isn't exactly a rune unit, but it's still a unit I want to showcase. Because I think it has a different model in this mod. Uh, that is of course a, or I say of course, but that is another crossbow unit. Not another crossbow unit, just a crossbow unit that we haven't showcased yet. As well as a siege equipment that I'm still to showcase. So those are three units I still want to show. I think besides that I've shown all the units in this mod. You might have seen some units pop up in intros as well, because I can't always keep them hidden, you know. Alright. 62%, we got three units left. We got Swordmasters, Swordsmen, 
and good rods. Cut on. Can you take care of those sword masters for me? That'd be wonderful. Horns made of clay. Horns made of clay. All right. And at that point, I mean, I'm assuming we'll be like half of November by then. We'll be looking towards a new campaign probably. And I have absolutely no idea of what I'm going to do for the new campaign. Absolutely no idea. Are we going to do Vanilla Dak? Are we going to do AGO? Are we going to do another sub mod? Are we going to do... Uh, don't throw, you're going to kill so many friendlies. Are we going to do a different mod? I, I really don't know yet. But if you guys have any recommendations, you're always free to tell me. That's not to say I'll definitely check out your recommendation. If you recommend the Planet War Total War, I might just decline. But uh, you're free to send me recommendations and I will check it out. Alright, Swordmasters, I don't like you guys. I mean, I do like you. are actually one of my favorite units. I say that about a lot of units, but they're just so awesome. Just the idea of these veterans with beards running around with these big-ass two-handers. It is kind of awesome. Get those bombs! Fire it away! Goodbye, Swordmasters! You might master the sword, but I master the fire, baby. Oh, yes. Yep, you're done. Go home. <laughs> no, done as well. Ah, oh, look at these poor swords. I actually feel sorry for them. Only a little bit. Alright, alright, alright. Just the good rods then. Run down those sword masters. 85% is the way to go. That is the magic number. Decent chunk of swordsmen there. But let's end this. Charging in against Gadrot might seem like a bit of a bad idea. Yeah, kind of. Alright, here's what we'll do. Send in Fang Legion, and then you guys kill those swordsmen. We'll just flank round. They'll break. They'll break. And Gadrot, they really have no killing power whatsoever. Very tanky, but don't kill anything. And there we go. That combat effectiveness is zero right now. Drive them from the battle. Herd of goats, baby, herd of goats. There we go. Alright, that is 97% of both armors. That should be 85 for the individual ones. Check, check. Easy peasy. Who killed the most? The Dragon Riders. Okay, okay. I might have to uh, readjust my bias, as it seems. That's a decent ransom value, but... I'd rather see Dale... Dead and buried, and then get that ransom value. There we go. So they're done. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, Bergram could occupy it. Then I might have to leave Karon behind it for a little bit. But I think Bergram can actually become a decently wealthy settlement. I think they're actually in a pretty good location. So there we go. I've occupied it. I've, I've made my uh, decision. Alright, uh, let's convert these people. What have we got there? Anything interesting? Archery range. Okay. Barracks. Okay. Stables, farms, a catapult maker, right? Eh? Interesting. Blacksmith, Master Mason's Hall, Great Hall, Turf Parts, a herbalist, and a Bard's Hall. Speed of the replenishment of all archers. I'm not sure if that does anything for me, but for 933 gold coins, eh, I'll just leave it. I am immensely wealthy and I'm making more money than I know what to do with. Alright, uh, well then, there is only one settlement remaining, and that is, of course, uh, grass guard. But first, let's do the renaming, and the suggestion that I really liked, for its simplicity most of all, was by Carl Yederblom, I hope I pronounced that right, and it was quite simply Dragon's Lake. Uh, and it might seem like a very straightforward name, but most of these are Smog's Vengeance, Cast Fire, Storm, Dragon's Lake, uh, and that's because I think I'd like it better without the apostrophe. Uh, there's quite literally a dragon at the bottom of that lake, and also, of course, we are dragons, and it's our lake, so it's Dragon's Lake. There we go. Doesn't always have to be complicated. How may I serve? How may I serve? You may serve by walking towards Grassguard and laying siege to it. What have we got inside? Just so I can kind of prepare what units I want to bring. King Bjorn. He looks so done with life, he's like, please, put me out of my misery. Uh, what does that mean? Steuer of Dale? Politics are no clean business. What? <laughs> I have no idea. 
Does that mean he's both king and prince? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, no, I think the prince has the black arrow, right? So anyway, we got the king, we got some Dale Calf, some Binding Marksmen, some Gadrots, and some Longbowmen. So two range units, one infantry, well three range units, one infantry, and one calf. Right, so I can definitely outrange him. I mean, pikes are a given. Loklatum are a given. I'll bring all the archers. Warriors, cast chosen. Uh, chariot? Uh, less necessary, I think. Pikes, yes. More archers. We're just gonna fucking burn them to bits. Uh, I don't think I'll bring out a general, honestly. The King of Deal is really just not worth a general anymore at this point. One thing I would like is an AP unit. So we got the local item, but they're not the best AP. Have we got any decent mace boys? Doesn't seem like it. No, 30. Meh, meh, meh. We'll do it with this, Captain Alton Stack. King Bjorn, you don't stand a chance, buddy. Alright, the final battle with Deal. Let's finish him off. There we go, a quaint little settlement. And this will be the second faction we eliminate after Dorwinian. And then my guess would be, oh we got so many archers, uh, that uh, the Dwarves of Edaborg will be next. Even though I'm not going to go too far out of my way to go kill them, I think it'll just inevitably happen at some point. So I'm mostly relying on my pikes here, which, eh, that's fine. That is fine, actually don't fight at will. Alright, archers! Go a little bit closer. Oh yes, that is an excellent fighting angle. Burn, baby, burn. Heard you were cold, buddy. Just here to help. Okay. He's pushing out one of his Dale Cav units. It seems. Are they being aggressive? Are they just being a poser? No, they're actually going for it. Interesting decision there. Give him a little bit... Uh, a warm welcome to our front line. Yeah, you want to be a little bit faster than that, buddy. You really want to pick up the pace, mate. Oh my god, there's not going to be anything left of them by the time they arrive. They can't even charge properly. And that's when my local item arrive. <laughs> Ah, oh, Gadrots as well! Welcome, welcome! I appreciate Dale not just staying behind and you know, trying to be a little bit aggressive, but... Yikes. Even my chair is getting exciting by the prospect of exterminating Dale. It has been a long time coming. They must be returning fire, right? Uh, no. We actually outranged them. I must admit, out of all the units in the Empire of Rune roster, I would actually go to wager that the Runic Fire Legion is the most OP one, just because of their immense range. Like, they're really good, and then they get that crazy range on top of it. I wouldn't mind seeing their range lowered a little bit, just to make it a little bit more balanced. The thing is, you not only have to think about you playing as the Empire of Rune, you also have to think of, what if you're playing Dale, for example, but you have the Empire of Rune submod installed, so the AI has access to the Empire of Rune units, I think you'd got really pissed off by these archers who are just incredibly powerful. Now, these Gadrots are kicking my ass. They are very, very tanky. So where are your... You got some Royal Guardsmen back there, your Longbows back there. Well I'd course. love to burn them, but then I might have to say goodbye to some of my cars chosen. I'd like to hold on to them. Where are you going? You want to try to assassinate my general? That's not going to work. I mean, I know it's a pike unit, but literally... You're good rot, you do no damage. I'm sooner going to friendly fire him to bits, which might happen. Alright, fire on the batting marksman. Uh, don't go in melee, you. Selected you by accident. Um, yeah. There's literally two turtles fighting one another. Except one turtle is a, a snapping turtle and another is just a freshwater turtle. Alright. 
Either way, this is going to be a long fight. Oh, look, the deal cab is back. All ten of them. This feels like Faramir riding out to us, Gilead. <laughs> Similar vibe. As King Beyond's just eating tomatoes in the background. You disgusting little man. Look at these guys. I'm not even, I'm not even aiming at you. That's Faramir right there. Ride, Faramir! No, don't change your mind! Keep riding! Ride! Faramir! Ah, there goes Faramir. Goodbye. Well, the good thing is we don't have to put up a pyre for him. Because there's not a whole lot left to cremate. So there's that. Daru Judar! Alright, let's go a little bit closer. Archers! Second Regiment! I want to get those body marks out of the game. Oh, we are actually still hitting the gate somehow, even though it's it's open. Okay. Alright, fuck those good rots. You have no right to be here! You have no right! Go back to your hobbles! That's what I thought. Stinking pieces of trash. I have no love for Dale, as you can probably tell. They have annoyed me for a long time. I will not grief them. I'll be throwing a mad party. <laughs> Alright. Well then, uh, I guess there's no time like the fucking present, eh? Get in there. Send in the dragon warrior boyos. Look at these poor sods. The last batting marksman of Dale. Such a shame. The, enemy have lost the, walls. Send the walls are mine, buddy. Right, stop throwing your bombs. Save your bombs. Um, I'm gonna send them my general as well, why not? It really doesn't matter if he dies, I'm not gonna have a rout anytime soon. Completely outnumber the enemy. Those good rots need to fucking go. Do the cast chosen count as missile units? Yes, they do. Control I, Control M. Alright, run, run, run. We're gonna burn ourselves a king, baby. Alright. What are you being... What are you doing over there? Is there like one guy there? I want those body marksmen gone. Their tunics used to be blue, now they're looking more red and purple. Just to give you an idea of all the bloodshed. Where's the king? I think that's the king. King Bjorn! Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to fire at me, I get to fire at you! You can't fire me, I quit! I've only ever once quit a job. That was one of the best feelings ever. Because <laughs> that was a job that really sucked. I had only worked there for three months, and one day I just literally walked out. I where are you going? I didn't tell you to do that. Oh, you're. Oh, what is this unit? It's like the same unit being spread out over half the fucking battlefield. Literally, just throw bombs at them. I don't care how you do it. Just throw bombs at them. But yeah, that job really sucked. And at one point, I just, I just had enough, and I simply said, "Fuck this! I don't need to take this." It was at that point that I realized I'm an adult. I can do what I want. Uh, and it's a good thing I didn't really need the job to survive, otherwise that'd be a different debate entirely. I mean, I understand why some people stick with shitty jobs. But it was a shitty job, and I simply just didn't have to take it, so I was like, you know what, fuck this. I quit. It wasn't really a you-can't-fire-me-I-quit moment, but it was still a fuck-you-I-quit moment. Which I very much like. If any of you have ever gone through a similar thing, you'll know what, exactly what I'm talking about. When you've been thinking about quitting for a while, and then just the realization kind of hits you, and you're like, you know what, I, I actually 
can just quit. This isn't like high school or anything where I have to suffer through it for so many years. No, you're just like, you know what, I'm out of here. Fuck you. And I haven't looked back since. I'm the kind of person to think about like a lot of decisions I've ever made in my life. And some of them you regret and some of them you feel bad about and sometimes you're like, oh, what if, what if. But that's one of those decisions that I've always stuck by. I've never ever thought, I wish I stayed in that job. Or imagine what my life would be like. If I had stayed in that job, I would have been even more miserable. And that job took so much energy from me, you wouldn't even be seeing these videos if I still had that job. Because with my job right now, I can combine doing my job and making videos quite easily. Quite, quite easily. And at the end of the day, I still have the energy. I'm recording this, for example, after a, a work day, but I'm feeling fine. I'm in the mood to play this game. Whereas with the other job, if I got home, I'd be like super tired and just didn't have energy to do anything. Which is really, really not fun. Alright, they're going down. Right, so I kind of want to burn the king. But I also don't want to have my cast chosen be destroyed. Oh, never mind, he's dead already. Fucking little bitch. Can't even survive long enough to die properly. Pathetic. Well, that is officially the end of the deal. <laughs> wow. That was quite easy. Yes, let's drink of the most rare and glorious fruit. I still don't really know what they mean with that, but hey, there we go. There we go, deal is done. Look at this big doom stack and watch it just become rebel. Three, two, one. Uh, second. There we go. Bloop. They even changed model. <laughs> nice. The King of Dale is dead. Grasgard is ours. And I actually have a perfect name for it myself. I mean, I call it perfect. Came up with it myself, so it's easy to call it perfect. Bard Swan Song. Because it was there that the the Sons of Bard had their final little swan song. Um, right. Right, right, right. Let's get some culture up in there as well. Uh, Kingdom of the Deal done. Yeah, we love to see it. We love to see it. So that rebel army is not going to do anything normally. That's fine. I might kill them at some point if I have the men to spare. Uh, Alright, let's um, build some stuff. Train some troops. And I think at this point we just need to prepare for the war against Khand. I think that's quite simply what we're going to do. Uh, so this is actually going to be a lot of end turns, I think. I'm bu Am I building everywhere, really? That is honestly surprising. But yeah, we're just going to train extra units. I'll get some Dragon Knights. People have rightfully claimed that you know I should get every general I can get my hands on. Yeah, just train whatever we can get our hands on. Seriously, even if it's just for garrison duty. I need all the lads I can get. Just this really weird mix match of units. That's fine. I'll take anything. And I really do mean anything. I need more settlements where I can train units. That's really the problem. Wow. I really haven't become picky at all. Uh, Captain Killick. Well, you're no longer really needed. I guess I can use you to move up towards the north. Uh, might send Cardon and his troops along as well. Right, you're going there to Kingslayer's Rest just to keep the peace. There are some units there that I want to move out as soon as we have the peace. Uh, actually, all these elite units, just for retraining, really. Uh, right, surely I can get some more stuff now. Not really. Ah, oh, they're the elves. Uh, maybe I should just already try and get peace with the elves. I'm just not that interested in fighting them. Yet I can't. Uh, let's train another diplomat up north and just try to get peace with the elves, you know. Your friends are dead. I have no qualm with you. You can fight Dol Guldur. That's, that's your problem. Besides, if we're going to go to war with Mordor as well, I don't want Dol Guldur to be too strong. So let them fight with the elves. That'll weaken them a little bit. Right, I think that's a done turn then. I mean, I could probably be min-maxing my troop movement and all that stuff a little bit better, but... I'm not a min-maxer. If you've watched my videos for a while, which I assume most have, then uh, you know that I'm not a min-maxer. 
And I say I assume most because I don't think many people really just watch a random episode. I think most people join during like a first episode and they stay around for the series and then... I don't think a lot of people join a series in the middle of it. So there we go. But yeah, they're laying siege to Dragon's Lake, which... And now it's bothering me that I don't have the apostrophe. Hmm. Maybe I should put the... I don't know how to feel about it. I guess right now it kind of infers that there's multiple dragons. Which there are, because we're dragons, right? But it's more... It's more a possessive term that I need to get, right? It's the League of the Dragon, so it's dragons... Yeah, I want the apostrophe. Before I lose it, civil disorder. Leave me alone. No, I built that by accident. There we go. Dragon's Lake with apostrophe. Restored. I bet at this point people have already put comments saying that Dragon's Lake was incorrect. And they're like, oh, we need to change it. There we go. I beat you to it. All right, let's go talk to Thranduil himself. Oh, he's not even home. I want a ceasefire. Is it demanding? I'll give you trade rights. I'll even give you some money for it. Money that you can use to fight against Dol Guldur. Proxy ward and all that kind of jazz. Lord knows you need it. Do you think me a mindless serf? I I think you're a mindless serf right now because you really should have taken that offer. All right, no problem. I think the best way to make our point is uh, violent bloodshed, I guess. And Thranduil's halls, they're looking mighty ripe for the taking. That's a pathetic garrison you got there. Like, what are you even attacking me with? One unit of Woodland Sentinels. Okay. I can muster an alright force. I cannot take Thranduil's halls in one turn. That is unfortunate. So let's bring back some of the troops from Swan Song. As many as I can miss, which is actually quite a lot because I can put it on low tax rate. Uh, these guys, these guys, these guys. Actually, I can do some merging. There we go. That works. To cast Firestorm. Oh, they're unhappy now. Uh, very unhappy. 70%. That's fine. Right, um, and then I'm just going to muster an army, and we're going to take Thranduil's Halls. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I've had it with these fucking elves. They want to be little prissy bitches. Let them. But don't bother me with that stuff. Hmm. Uh, so there's this settlement here as well. Okay, let's see. That puts it at 70%, which is enough. Burkhaupis is unhappy, but at 70%, so that's fine. If I pull out Karon, these people will probably... Yeah, they're very unhappy. But I could probably pull out pretty much every unit and be fine because of Karon. So I can ship these guys towards... Burr-Alga. So we'll just put a boat there to ship them across. Bloop. There we go. And then I'm going to muster a force. Can I bring out Khan Amdur out of retirement? No, he needs to stay in Smaug's Vengeance. That's fine. Uh, let's see. We'll do some merging. Like that. So let's see. You, 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 you. You. Um, all these archers. Ballista. Um, pop, 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 pop. Merge them. I probably shouldn't have merged them. Oh, whatever. Can I merge them? Yes. Right. And they're going to take down Captain Lithonion next turn. If they, if they try to take Dragon's Lake, but I don't think they have enough um, points to build a ram, for example. But then we'll be able to defend it just fine. And then next turn, this army will march towards Thanduil's Halls and just burn it to the ground. I've offered him peace, he's not interested. I'll just do a Blitzkrieg on him and yeah, let that be the end of that. Uh, right. Oh, we're pretty much number one everywhere. Very, very close, very, very close. Alright, do you need to stay in Viltur for happiness? No. Can you then go to the last vineyard to spread happiness and joy? Right, Mistron got the High Palace. Perfect, that means we can train more troops, more recruitment slots. Um, and now we're upgrading it to a large city, wonderful. 
Elgai had got roads. Great. Let's get a Master Mason's Hall. I'm surprised I didn't build that sooner, but okay. You guys go to Mistrant as well. Where we're gathering up a crazy army. Uh, Rubar got a blacksmith. Wonderful. Every unit we train there will be better equipped. Let's get a Warlord's Hall for more recruitment slots. Karasan got the warehouse, which will make it even wealthier. Um, let's get... Nomadic Gathering Ground. Meh. I'll get a Leather Worker. Dragon Reach got an Archery Range. Perfect. I can get Loknarim. Let's train them. And let's get some Stables. Or actually... Let's not get Stables. Let's get... No, let's get Stables. I already built the Warlord's Hall, apparently. Yeah. Uh, Condovan got a Blacksmith. Wonderful. Let's get a... Um, Warlord's Hall so I can get the upgraded Barracks. Last vineyard got a brothel. They're still unhappy. I gave them prostitutes and they're still unhappy. Possible. Let's give them a shrine. Uh, Smoker's Vengeance got the grain exchange. I mean, I could keep building trade stuff and just make it immensely wealthy. Or I could start looking towards getting an... Oh, I can get an advanced armor of that. Let's do that. Golden boat. I want the north to be kind of self-sufficient, if that makes sense. I'm not going to ship a single unit of north anymore. They'll just have to take care of their own issues at this point. Um, Burkaupis. Eastern Shrine. Actually, I should get that in Golden Boat as well. The last vineyard, that's all repaired. Okay. Recruitment. Mistrand. Well, I guess I can get Dragon Riders. Elgar. I think I've checked most locations. Most of the prime real estate, that is. Yeah. I'll take some of these guys, but... I'm gonna need a whole lot more. I wanna go to Kong with like three full armies or something like that. Like plenty of dudes. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Kush is coming over. He could already go out with like a little bit of a reconnaissance team, I guess. Hmm. Well, you can lead over there. Sometimes we could ship over these dragon riders. I mean, with the armor upgrade and stuff, uh, they're not bad. They're not bad. And seeing as they're anti-cavalry, they'll be quite useful against the, the hordes of Khand. Uh, right, so you're coming over. You'll be one or two turns. Next turn, we'll deal with them. Anything else I need to be doing? Probably plop down some more watchtowers. As long as I have moving range. I want Amdur to keep moving. I still hope we can pick up some Sons of the Fallen at some point. That would be awfully ironic. And I live for irony. Okay. Vision! Perfect. Yeah. They really don't have too many troops. But first, Thranduil needs to be dealt with. That little prissy elf. Um, I also want a diplomat to go towards Mordor. Because I want to buy some settlements. I have the money for it. Why not? I know public order will be a little bit difficult to deal with. Oh, I also have a big army at Mount Caligon. I might just send them out of retirement as well. Send them towards the Dwarves of Erebor. But look how wealthy that settlement is as well. 3k, like, I'm making so much money. Like, what were the Dwarves going to do with all that cash? Just hoard it? Lure out another dragon? I mean, they quite literally did. They lured me out. So. <laughs> In a way, we are very similar to a dragon. Smaug was attracted by the wealth of Erebor, and I'm attracted by the wealth of literally everyone else. Oh, Mordor, you better not be taken down, can't. And the Anduin Vale is also on their last legs. Interesting. Uh, right. I might have to buy some settlements of the Anduin Vale just to get uh, the dragon stuff. Alright, Burkhaup is his upsetty spaghetti. And the last vineyard, that will be their final turn of unhappiness. There we go. Happiness at last. Can I maybe miss one unit of here to go to Burkhaupis to pacify them? No? Two units? I won't send more than two. 70%. Good enough for me. Borders. Alright, next turn, but I'll go off all. Thrander will F off. That's the way we like it. Um, wait, does this unit have a cast? Oh, they don't have a cast chosen. Come on. If we're going inside literal Vietnam, we need some napalm. 
It only makes sense. Uh, any other units I really want? Maybe an extra archer. We win against archers by using archers. Right, Captain Valdeglerion. Valdeglerion. It's quite a name you got. What have you got? A catapult, my Thiritha wire, wooden scouts, and wooden scouts. Well, this should be quite easy. Let's go. Radio, here we are. I mean, it is quite hilarious, in my mind at least, that we're gonna absolutely despoil Thranduil's holes just because he was acting like a little bitch and he didn't accept my peace offer. Like, it, it really didn't have to come to this, quite literally. I'm not just saying that out of vainness. This is really just because Thranduil was too proud to admit that he stood no chance against us. So yeah, lesson... Not lesson learned, I doubt he learned any lessons, but let that be a lesson to all of you, I guess. If a large army of golden boys... Oh lord, trees, what are you doing? There we go. I've deleted the trees. Uh, just accept peace. Okay, so these guys actually outrange me. That's probably because I'm a little bit downhill. Which really sucks, but hey. That catapult could be a pain in the ass. I find it hilarious to see elves using catapults, by the way. Yikes. I'm not sure why, just the idea of elves using catapults. Like, it doesn't really... doesn't really work in my brain. <laughs> Shall we go fuck up some catapults? He hit his own men. <laughs> you fucking donkey! That usually only happens to me, you fool! Damn. They're scared of the chariots. Chariots of fire, quite literally. Look at the Gwaithir. The, the Maithir, not the Gwaithir. Something different. Isn't that one of the eagles, Gwaithir? I think it is. Or is that Gwaithir? That's Gwaithir, isn't it? Oh, you must forgive me, my elvish is a little bit... rusty. A fight with horns made horns of clay. Of clay. We are winning the battle. Horns made of fire, more like. Oh no, my one charioteer is stuck. No, just having a good time, sniping these guys point blank. Fighting backwards for whatever reason. It's quite impressive actually. Come to think of it. Alright, so the Maithir Ithawair are trying to get to the front line. They don't really know which leg they need to put in front of the other. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. If I stand still and I start walking, which leg do I start with? I think I start with right, actually. I mean, I am right-handed, so that would make the most sense. But in some regards, I'm left-handed. Like, I eat left-handed, for example. Stuff like that. Yeah, I'm a little bit weird. Uh, who's your general, anyway? It is... Wooden Scouts? Yeah. Seems like it. Whoa, don't shoot my fucking chariots, mate. They got large hitboxes, they're quite easily taken down. Hmm, are they dead? Yep, they're dead. <laughs> Poor sods. Didn't even stand the chats. Alright. I am beholding it in all its glory. So now it is just Thranduil's halls, eh? And I must admit, I'm not too scared of that. I wish I could bring the catapults along, that would be quite nice. Uh, 92%, yeah. Bye bye! See you soon, buddy! Execute them! Don't even think twice about it. Hey, man of the hour, nice! That was really not deserved for that puny little battle, but I'll take it. I mean, I might as well take him into Foon as well. At this point, I'm just gonna eradicate the fucking elves. Because it's less annoying than to actually uh, get peace with them. 
I'm gonna move some troops to Cast Firestorm because I'm just noticing the dwarves are gonna try to take. Or I'm gonna move from Cast Firestorm to Smog's Vengeance. But uh, that should be a pretty easy settlement to defend. Yeah, some, some reinforcements are welcome. Culture should be almost good enough to start training our own troops there. Yeah, it is actually. Wonderful. Uh, right. But first things first, let's take Thranduil's Halls. Why not? We've come this far. Might as well go all the way, huh? Uh, I don't need to build siege equipment, I can just waltz straight in. It's a little bit of a shame that Thranduil himself isn't home, apparently. But he's left behind a small garrison for me to have some fun with. And I do emphasize small. This should be quite easy. Alright, I didn't expect this to happen in this episode, but, well, here we are. When in Rome, slaughter some elves, eh? Okie dokie. This is a settlement that is, um, let's see. Right, it's inside this mountain thingy place. Okay, so we break down the gate, waltz in there. Okay, there we go. I do like the fountain, it looks pretty cool. Not sure how they achieved that effect, actually. It's an intermittent fountain. Uh, and then there's a middle path and two or three even kind of flanking paths. Yeah, okay. Well, they got less troops than there are paths to protect. It's actually going to be quite hard for them to defend. And once we're in there, um, I kind of want to do something with the cast chosen. kind of want to just burn into the ground. Right here. Well, don't mind me. I'm just going to break down... But are you fighting? Uh, stop that. It's looking a little bit ridiculous when you do that. And I don't like to look ridiculous. I like to look awesome. Alright, break down the gate. And this is why you always bring Ballast time. Just makes her life so much easier. Maybe I should impose myself a house rule to not use Ballast time, because they do make my life. Like, I, I rely on them so much. Uh, what's that? Elven Defenders? And they only had one unit of archers, right? If I'm not mistaken, within scouts. It's a good unit of archers, don't get me wrong. But it is only one of them. Within spearmen. Wait, did you have any archers? That's probably question number one. Defenders. He's got a ballista, he's got some horse archers. I thought he had a unit of regular archers as well. Did he not? That would make my life a whole lot easier for the cast chosen. I mean, yeah, horse archers are still a pain. But uh, not that much of a pain. Alright, hold it right there. Hold the br Oh my lord! We're defying gravity! Fuck yeah! I mean, I knew we had some superpowers, but the dragon blood does flow very strongly within us. Look at these guys. They give no shits. <laughs> okay then. Alright, cast chosen. Time to burn this place to the ground! Thranduil's Ashes. Ooh, that might be a cool name for the settlement. Alright, those guys want to just hold the gate? I say no. Nice. Just burning the edges. Trimming the hedges. Now it's time for the left flank. We do attack. You are so observant. Oh, please come out. Just like that, we've already killed 7%. Imagine being an immortal elf, and this is how you die. Bad positioning in a siege battle. And getting burned to a crisp. I mean, I could do this all day, buddy. I'll even move a little bit more in position for you, just for you. Uh, wait, where did you go, Cast Chosen? Perfect positioning right there. Should be, at least. Oh, fight. I fight on the defenders, then. Uh, I have to spam it for some reason, then it works. Is 
that even elvish that they're yelling? Or am I the one yelling? That sounds almost dwarvish. Kuzdul. Uh, don't get inside just yet. I know this is a very slow and methodical way to approach this siege, but I'm just having too much fun just burning them. I don't know why, I'm a bit of a sadist, I guess. But look at that, we don't want to kill a quarter of that, lads. We haven't even set foot inside that keep. Alright. can cut it out now. Send in the pointy boys. Oh, they literally just walk through the fucking wall. I respect that. Victory is well within our grasp. In time our foe will surely see this. And lose heart. Alright, send along one archer unit. Oh, this positioning is awful. But it would be cool if you could put archers like here, for example. Is that possible at all? No, that would be awesome. Having archers here fighting down on the enemy. I don't know. It kind of makes sense. Uh. Oh, they're using. Ah, they got a ballista that they're using against me. Well then. So you can play that game. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck you then. You use Ballista, I use Cast Chosen. Oh, that fucker. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Fine. We're going in, boys. We're fucking going in. That Ballista's gonna shrek me if I stay too long. It seems they're a little bit more cautious about friendly fire and that will be that downfall. Ha, <laughs> fools! Yes, Golden Horde! Get in! Get in here! Oh, Thranduil, if only you had accepted my ceasefire, you stubborn goose! Absolute monkey brain! Oh well. I would say more power to you, you know, acting all high and mighty, never giving up, etc, etc, but at this point you're just an idiot. You're quite literally just the biggest moron I've ever had to fight against. The men of Dale and the dwarves of Erebor, they had no choice. I never offered them a peace treaty. It was always going to be war until either I died or they died. And the latter happened. Oh, frick. Alright, let's go. But you, you had a choice. You had an actual choice. And you... you I offered you my hand and you just took a royal piss on it. Alright, uh, I know you guys are liking this kind of leisurely walk, but you are being shot by a ballista and they are fucking accurate, mate. Bring in the lads. Um, Alright lads, you want to go on another adventure? Yeah, those wooden horse archers, they don't fuck around. So let's give them something crispy, eh? There we go. I wish I could light some ballistae on fire. Where the fuck am I? Okay. Cast chosen, you're gonna have some fun. Run, run, run. Right, the Elven Defenders want to act all tough. My lads are having a little bit of a hard time. Where does this lead to? There's like a door here. And again, there's also a door there. I wonder if Smeagol's in here somewhere. <laughs> Not at this point in the timeline. Okay. Alright, you guys want to hold that? That's fine. <laughs> dum -de dum -de dum don't mind me! That's the second time I've pulled off the cast chosen sneak mission. Alright, Tom Clancy's, let's fucking go! <laughs> ah, you donkeys! That's a cute ballista you got there! <laughs> All right, line infantry. 
Burn them all! Burn them all! Let the Valar sort them out! Or Morgoth. Alright, you lads, can you pull the fire, mate? Let him put my fire at will mode. Just go ham. Stew ham! Let's go, go, go! Yes! Mmm, horse meat's back on the menu! Why do you fire and then pull back? You're not skirmishing, come on. Now oh, you know what? Fuck these horse guys. I'm gonna take care of the defenders and open up my front line. My fire legion will take care of the horses. We have lost 23%. The defenders are putting up a good fight. But not for long. Can't believe I'm doing it again. <laughs> oh, I killed a large chunk of my own dudes. Push, push, push. Capture as many of them. Don't let them reach the town square. Cast chosen trying to take captives. They're not used to that. Usually they don't take a single captive. But hey. Ooh, that was a lot of friendly fire. But I think we killed more enemies than good guys, so... That's a win, baby. That's a fucking win. Alright, I'll just stop fighting. Our men! I love that little desperate. Our men! It's like, what, you didn't expect me to win? There we go, fake Thranduil is dead. Hell to the air, baby, 29%. Probably heal some, 25%. 420 baby, 420. We definitely blazed it. We didn't blaze that many of our own guys. Cast chose to kill 250. And only about 30 of those were our own guys, so I can live with that. It's a pretty good result. Nice, nice, nice. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'm sticking with my own name suggestion. Uh, I'm gonna sack. Thranduil's Halls, more like Thranduil's Ashes. I love it. It's a large chunk of territory with watchtowers. Ah, perfect. It's actually a nice chunk of land. Hey, I just own a bunch of forests now. Way. Actually, seeing as I've taken another capital, that allows me to talk a fog of war. Way. That's pretty nice. Right, let's see what is going on in the world. Just look how big chunkers we are. Look at that. You are very much the largest region. I think Mordor is second, and then... Well, in terms of surface, probably like can't, but I'm just gonna say Gondor, because those are regions that matter instead of just dead wasteland. Uh, Isengard's also decently chunky, but they still haven't killed off Rohan. Though, I don't think it'll last very long. Rohan is definitely on their last legs. Then again, I said that last time I toggled the Fog of War as well, so... Erebor holds three settlements at the moment. Uh, they hold Rakyaburg, Witherboard, and Onazanar. The only thing I'm concerned about is what if the Orcs of Gundamad take Rakyaburg? They get their Doomstack. I think their Doomstack spawns like here or something. So they'll probably go to Witherboard, which uh, yeah, need to make sure they're sufficiently defended at that point. But yes, the uh, Anduin Vale are down to two settlements Leothold and Bjorn's Hall. They got their Doomstack already. The Elves of the Woodland Drum, they've got Torfilin, Eminifuin, and Erindolin. Erinrunen, Enathaur, and Bur Algo, which I will take next turn. So they still have a decent amount of settlements. Can't expect the Dol Guldur to have more settlements, but hey. We have taken Thranduil's Halls, and if you look at their garrisons, they barely have any troops, so I could Blitzkrieg them relatively easily. But I think the plan now is to buy some settlements of Mordor, the ones that are kind of outside of their borders. Settlements like Logarth, Thorthalu, I've come to bargain, uh, Ostaniri, Farfest, that's kind of it. Those regions I definitely want. Uh, then we'll lead an attack on Khand, seize a lot of their land. Then we take down Mordor, and then we take down Gondor. And that sounds like a great deal in my eyes. If I take a look at the other side of the Misty Mountains, which we don't care too much about, but there Enedwaith reigns supreme, and if I'm not mistaken, they're against uh, Isengard, right? Yes, so that's going to be actually an interesting struggle. I mean, the men of Dunland are pretty much reduced to almost nothing. they got a couple of territories all spread out, but they won't last for a 
not for very long. And I think Endotomite being allied to Gondor might stand a good chance against Isengard. Gondor has been holding out incredibly well. They haven't reclaimed Lynn here yet, but that's more of a Dol Amroth issue. They're actually holding off Mordor. Ah, they've lost Cad Andros. Okay, that's an interesting development. So they no longer have Cad Andros, which is um, kind of bad for Gondor. But that doesn't really spell their doom just yet. Uh, of still the Elves of Lothlorien. That baffles me like crazy. So they only hold Erui. In the north, Angmar is pushing out the dwarves, although the rangers of the north are putting up a good fight. They've actually taken quite a few settlements. There's Barliman himself kicking out some Angmar scum. <laughs> but yeah, most of the interesting stuff is happening, of course, in Ravanian, where uh, the Empire of Rune reigns supreme. Alright, let's uh, build some stuff. Let's got a catapult maker. Can I get the highest tier of siege equipment there yet? No. What do I need? What do I need? Where is it? There is it. Mason's Guildhouse and Blacksmith. Uh, so I just need the Blacksmith then. Okay, that's not too bad. So I should be able to get a catapult, right? Yeah. Nice. Uh, we'll check that later. Santan, we got the Warlord's Hall so I can train more troops there. Nice. Let's make sure we can train more troops uh, by getting the barracks. Can I retrain something interesting? No. Uh, and Rar got a Ballista Maker as well. Let's get some Public Finance and let's get that Ballista. Cabra got the Mason's Guild House. That will speed up some construction. We've got Luke Shark Cavath over here. I'm going to pull him out of retirement at some point as well. Um, I'll get a Trader Exchange just because it's really good money. The Ashfield got their Stronghold upgraded. Nice. Let's get the Mason's Guild House to speed up everything else. Kingslayer's Rust got the Public Fountain, so they should be even more happy. Culture should also be quite good, 41%. I mean, this culture is literally non-existent, right? Uh, wait, I think Rohan also has Northman culture. Uh, and maybe the Anduin Vale as well, yeah, they probably do. Let's get some roads. Gars Firestone with the Eastern Shrine, good, good, good. Let's get the Eastern Temple, just because I want to max out... Look at this income, by the way. The culture as fast as possible. Same in Bard Swan Song. It is a mouthful, but I like saying it. They are losing some public order, which is less than ideal. Um, can I get some mercs? Uh, all that is just repairing Kingslayer's Rest, okay. Can I get some mercenaries? That would be quite helpful. No. Well, what we're going to do... Oh, hello, Dale Army. Yurt. Is move you towards Bart Swan Song. I also want to move some troops out of Mount Ankalagon. I can't move Yasur yet. He'll have to chill there for a bit, but I think I can send out pretty much the entire army. Yeah. Captain Inquisitive Harfang. Oh, that is a cursed name. Um, uh, do I leave behind anything? I'll leave behind the local item. I'll send these guys out. They could march against Erebor or against the Wooden Drum. Isengard and Moriar allies. Interesting. Not so good for Lothlorien. They'll suffer from that. Conqueror of Thanduil's Hall is wonderful. Okay, oh, we got the Dale Spy Network. Right. I completely forgot about Spy Networks. It's one thing I you know, I should pay more attention to that. I'll move them to Thanduil's Hall then, because then I can get the Wooden Drum Spy Network. Um, right, recruitment report. Mataram. Alright, nothing new. Decently sized army there. So I think I should probably already move out. Um, and Mahath got some troops. We'll send them towards Mataram. Mistran's the big one, though. One more turn for the Boomer kill. Very, very nice. And then I'll send out an army from some of these guys, some of these guys, with um, Kursh to lead them. That's going to be quite, quite fun. Alright, anything else I can train? Ooh, ooh, I can get Dragonrath crossbowmen. That's the elite crossbow unit I haven't showcased yet. Have I used the swift blades yet? I'm not sure. But we can get some top tier units there now. Wonderful, let's train those. They'll come in handy. At that point, I'm only missing the top tier siege equipment, which I am getting at some point. Alright, we'll bring peace here, then we'll send those guys home for uh, retraining. Same deal here. Do, 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 do. Right, I think that is all. Ah, we just weirded out those 44 turns then, nice. 
I think that's all I wanted to do in this episode. I mean, I wanted to do focus more on Khan, actually. The wooden drum kind of distracted me a little bit. But we've cleaned up Dale. We've taken Thranduil's halls, which is quite good. Um, and yeah, next episode we'll probably try to just kind of passively fight against the Elves of the Wooden Drum. Maybe I'll try again to get a peace treaty from them. Maybe they'll accept this time. Uh, I'm also going to try to... Didn't I train a diplomat for that? I think I got one queued up and missed Trant, right? Yeah. Buy some settlements from Mordor and I'm also going to take Mr. Kursh. Send him on a trip towards Oibomari. Just see some lands there. That's not a lot of settlements, but it's a big chunk of land, so it'll look great on the map. <laughs> That's all I care about. It looks cool. Alright, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed episode number 18. And I hope to catch you soon for episode number 19. So thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you soon.